Hello, this is Ari Vagabond Jerry. And in this video, I'm going to show you around the town of Puerto Panasco, Mexico, which is the closest place to Arizona to go to an actual beach. It's just about 65 miles, I think, from the border and is a very, very, very popular place for RVers to go in the winter. So I'm gonna show you some things to see around town, but first I'm gonna show you around the campground here where I'm staying, which is a campground right on the beach. Let's take a look around here first, and then I'm gonna take off on my motor scooter and see what else there is around town. They also have RV storage facilities here and here are some of the beach rules you can see it is a very wide beach here and then there's a little hill up here right above is where the RVs park and this is the cherished <laughs> front row on the beach and there's five rows occupied right now to get on the front row you have to come really early in this season like late fall I'm guessing to get in the front row like that so let me show you so there's the back side of row one here is row two, and this white one here starts row three, and I'm parked right there in row four. That's me on row four, and this is row five, and that's all that's occupied now. I think they can fit in one more row, row six. Somebody was here right next to me yesterday. They left this morning. There's room here for a few more in row five. And this is my first time here. So I didn't know just what it was going to look like. So if you come pretty much unprepared like I did, then you're very likely to get a space, but it's gonna be like row five or six. They got a pickleball court there and then off to the right here is the showers there's three of them in the shower building there and then off to the right here is the campground office and other facilities where there are restrooms and more showers and here is the laundry room but they only have four machines a few picnic tables and you can get ice here yellow and there's even more showers here now the rates to stay here is $15 a day 105 for a week and $450 for a month which seems way too high to me <laughs> <laughs> considering wherever you park there are no hookups whatsoever now what some people do is drag these dump carts over to the dump station right there you can park here and dump but if you're gonna stay for a long time you need those carts to be able to dump without driving over. And next to the dump is a water faucet there. There's another water faucet here and a sink. And it's non-potable water, but so is all the water in Mexico. <laughs> Anywhere you go, if you're American at least, is non-potable water, which means you can do anything with it, but safely drink it. So I use it to fill up this water container 
that I use for hand washing with that spout that I put right over my bathroom sink and I do all my showering at the campground so as to not use up my freshwater tank in my motor home. How do you like the artwork on this baby here? <laughs> and it looks like these people in the Montana they've got a big group. Probably several RVs get together and have a campfire session at night. And by the way it gets pretty warm here during the day but not really so much that you would really need air conditioning but then let me tell you last night I had all my windows closed in my RV and I woke up to 55 degrees so I bet it got down to 40 last night there's a lot of people walking around the beach but I don't see anybody actually in the water so I guess that means it's too cold to go play in the waves yet this year. This is a pan shot from the far west end of Puerto Panasco where they've got several of these fancy hotels and you can see a lot of the coastline from here way off in the distance you see the city and somewhere here is the Cacho del Mar campground where I'm staying. I quit, can't quite tell where it is at this point. It's as far as I can zoom in. And then off to the right is a big cliff here. Not yet. <laughs> Further off to the right. Right there is where the land ends. You can see how far it is from here. I talked to some guys at the campground and they told me that they've been here for two months and December and January have been really cold really cold but now in February when I'm here it's starting to warm up this is early February they said they think February and March is the ideal month to come stay here on the beach in the RV park but if you're a hotel person <laughs> then year-round is a good time to be here there's a tiki bar and then there's a lot of this is really all private property on the beach well, at least a little way up from the beach. Here you can rent a cabana for the day. It's a nice place. This is the downtown Puerto Panasco Malacan. Walkway along the coastline. And here's a really What it is, if you can read this, that would tell you. There's all kinds of stores and services around here. Very busy tourist area with a few musicians begging for tips. Even the guy playing the tuba. <laughs> the word Basco in English means rocky. So Puerto Vanesco means rocky port. However, I don't think anybody ever really calls it that. For some reason, they call it Rocky Point. 
and I guess that's why this is so rocky. Got some really big boulders here. Now these guys, I just find annoying. <laughs> Got some kind of abstract art structure here. Is that another tuba? People gonna pay to hear a tuba, I guess. I think that's what this guy is counting on. <laughs> Climbing over the rocks down to the water. There's the lighthouse way on the top of the hill here. And right behind that is a pizzeria. Folks, I was looking for the road to get up to the lighthouse and I didn't find it. But I did find this high up view of the city. They're building something, some kind of tall building there. It looks like it's in construction. Either that or it's being torn down. I can't tell. And look at this. <laughs> I have completely lost sight of the lighthouse, but I did find some interesting structures here at the top of this hill. This included <laughs> whatever that is. I'm here on my motor scooter. That's how I was able to get up. A very treacherous trail not a road but a trail getting up here and an overlook of a harbor well I hope you've enjoyed my very short tour of Puerto Pernasco and of course mainly the tour around the RV park at the beach good day folks